All right, class, so the first thing you want to do for the stippling um, part of the project is you have one of these and one of these pieces of paper. Take one of these, put your name on the back and your period number. And then flip it over to the front. So you notice that there is a grid on your flower here. So you're gonna take a ruler and you are going to measure on this paper the same way that is gridded for you. So you're gonna take your ruler and use the width <coughs> of your ruler Make a grid going in both vertically and horizontally. I'm drawing darker so that way you can see in this video, but draw light on yours so that way you can erase later. All right, so I have my grid going in that direction. Now I'm gonna do my grid going in the opposite direction. So I have my grid. Now you're gonna look at how many boxes are on here and how many boxes go this way. So they're one, two, three, four. On mine I have one, two, three, four, five. So I'm gonna start here at the bottom instead of starting here at the top. There are one, two, three, four, five, six boxes this way and one, two, three, four, five, six boxes that way. So you're gonna look at each individual box to figure out where the line of this flower is in that box. So you're gonna count boxes going this way, going this way, and then figure out where that line is inside that box. So I'm gonna start here in the bottom one. So we have one extra row of boxes and that's okay. So I'm gonna start here. This is my first box. And in that box, this flower starts here, goes here, and comes out about one third, maybe a little bit more over. And I'm gonna draw that line. Then I'm going to look at the next box, figure out that my flower is about there, continue to draw my line. Next box over, it goes up into this area and continue to draw my line. Now I'm gonna move up one row and look at this box. So my petal goes a little bit through this intersection. Over here on this line, it's about right there, but there's this little slopey line in between them. So I'm gonna draw that little slopey line. And I'm just gonna continue until I have the whole entire flower figured out. All right, class, so I finished drawing the outline of my sunflower here on my little piece of paper. I made the outlines dark so that way I can see them. And now I'm going to erase away my grid lines. Ooh. We can erase the majority of it afterwards, but just so you can kind of clean it up a bit so you know which lines to use and which lines not to use.
All right. Now you want to look at your picture up here and look at the darkness and lightness. You want to find the lightest values and the darkest values and the values that are in between. So maybe like the middle values, like we talked about in our value scale. So for this one, we are doing stippling. And if you remember, stippling is using little dots close together to create the dark values and really far apart to create the light values. So we're not going to outline our flowers with Sharpie. We want to do all of the values using stippling method. So if you look here, here are my very dark values. So I'm going to use my Sharpie <coughs> to create my very, very dark values. So I have dots that are really, really close together. I understand it is very time consuming to do this, so we have lots of time. You can always go back in and add even more darker values as you go along, but you can't go back in and add any lighter values because you can't take away the Sharpie dots. So I'm adding some of my really, really dark values first. To show you some lighter values, I'm gonna go over here to this petal. So if you notice, this petal has highlights on it. They're your lightest values, anywhere that you see these white highlights. So for example, this right here is this petal. So you want to add your light values, which is dots that are really far apart from each other. And add in some of your medium values, maybe get the dots a little bit closer together. and your dark values. Don't get frustrated or impatient. I know it's time consuming. And I'm sure your arm is hurting by now. Take your eraser and erase away your pencil lines. You can start to see how well you are shading and your value is coming along. If you think you need to go back in and add more dots, you can always do so. But again, you can't take away any dots. So I might go back in, add some darker values and continue working. 